Hello darlings and welcome back to my channel. So, um, as you can see from the title of today's video, I am going to do a quick product review for you guys. Um, this is something that I came across um, literally the other day. I hadn't even seen this before. Um, it does say it's new, so I don't feel too bad about it. I don't know how long it's been out, um, but I wanted to um, show you it because I tried it and I thought why not show everyone um, you know you might be thinking of trying it for yourself so I wanted to review it to help you out um, so yeah so basically I have the reason I'm using this I have grey hair like I have genuine grey streaks in my hair we're not talking about I have one grey hair we're talking I have hundreds of grey hairs no exaggeration I have hundreds of grey hairs if you've been watching me for a while you will remember me saying. I've mentioned it a few times on my channel. Um, I got my first grey hair when I was 10 slash 11 years old. Um, I was in year six so I was either 10 or 11 years old. So I was at school, still in primary school, 10 or 11 um, and I got some grey. So it started here and as the years went by, um, you know, say when I was like 15, 16, I had a patch of about this size. Um, but obviously because of, you know, my hair was longer, it was actually a streak. So I had a streak of grey hair in school um, that I used to try and hide. So I would actually comb my hair from this side across to try and hide it because I was so embarrassed. Like who wants to say they've got grey hair when they're a teenager? So I used to hide it. But then one day when I was 15, somebody saw it um, in my hair in DT, design and technology, um, in textiles. I remember it well. Um, and they were like, oh my god, wow, you've got silver hair, that looks so cool, you've got this silver streak, and she started like, looking at it and going, oh wow, that looks really amazing, um, and then she said, oh look, so and so, she's got silver hair, and I was like, oh my god, and because everyone thought it was really cool, I started to have it out, so I would just go to school with my grey streak, and, I'd, and they'd say, oh, I like your silver streak, like, when did you put that in? How did you put that in? I was like, no, it's natural. It's it's grey. Um, but because of my, I guess, I don't know, with the contrast against the rest of my hair, it kind of looks silver. I have no idea. Or maybe they just thought, why would she dye her hair grey? So they thought it's supposed to be silver. I don't know. But it's grey. Um, and now that I'm 34, um, I would say it's to about here now. And then Everywhere else in my hair is just kind of speckles of grey. So I still have the grey patch, the grey streak, but it's much wider. So it went from like this to about here now. So it's quite big. Um, but obviously I dye it so you can't see it. But if I left it natural, I would have a really thick grey streak coming down the front here. Or going back, depending on how I wear my hair. Um, and if I parted my hair anywhere else on my head, I would have grey streaks going through it. So I do have a lot of grey. So... I don't want you to watch, watch this and think, what is she even talking about? Has she even got any grey hair? I have grey hair. I dye my hair um, on a regular basis. And in between dyeing it, I use root to touch up products, whether it's a spray, um, which I've reviewed in the past and gave it terrible reviews. Um, but since trying them out a little bit more, um, I've realised that if you have oily hair or if you put oils into your hair I have Afro-Caribbean hair which tends to be quite dry and you tend to add oil to Afro-Caribbean hair oily products um, and when you use the root sprays with an oily product in your hair um, it will never it never truly uh, dries down so when you touch your hair it will still be wet and it will pick up the product so that's one issue with that I've used lots of root uh, products that I've shown you guys on here powders um, my little uh, was it um, a Garnier one, I can't remember the brand, but the one I reviewed not too long ago, um, love that one as well. So yeah, so I use lots of different things. So I came across this, get to the point, I came across this, um, this is something completely different. So I was actually looking for a hair dye, I will leave some links below as well. Um, I was looking for a normal hair dye, um, I always try and go for no ammonia because it's more gentle on the hair. Um, it also tends to burn my scalp as well. I've got a really sensitive scalp. I get psoriasis on my scalp. So I try and go for no ammonia, um, as natural ingredients as possible. Um, so yeah, but like I said, because it's mainly this patch here, and yes, I do have speckles everywhere else. It's quite a lot. It's quite a lot to do to dye your entire head 
when really it's just to get some, you know, some strands out. It seems like a lot. So I came across this and I thought this might be pretty good. Um, so this is actually a mousse, um, which I, I think, you know, I might have tried hair dye mousses years ago, but I haven't for a long time. So this is a mousse by Schwartz, oh, I can never say it, Schwarzkopf. Kopf. Schwarzkopf, that's how you say it. I did do German um, at school and I don't know how I forgot that. But anyway, Schwarzkopf, that's how you pronounce it. Um, so anyway, this is the Live Color Refresher. And what I loved about this, first of all, it's a mousse, so it's not gonna drip down, it's not gonna make a mess. Um, the second thing I love about it is that it says it only takes three minutes, okay? So I tried it last night. Um, what you do is you wash your hair, and this is another thing that's slightly different. So normally you would use this product um, on dry hair. You know, you dye your hair when your hair's dry, usually, on the ones that I use. Um, but with this one, you wash your hair first, so when your hair's just been shampooed and it's still wet, you then spray this onto your hands. Uh, you don't need gloves as well, that's another thing usually when you dye your hair, you need gloves because it's gonna stain your hands. You don't need gloves with this. You spray, you shake the bottle, you spray, some, you squirt some mousse into your hands and then you just rub it into the areas that you want to treat. And that's what I love as well. So if you're like me and you have a gray streak or there's certain areas um, or you've got a little bit of roots coming through, it doesn't have to be gray, but if you've got a little bit of roots coming through and it's a little bit lighter than the rest of your hair, you can just touch it up using this. It also says on the box that you get up to six uses. Now, when I saw that, I thought there's no way. How is this small little can going to give me six uses? But I sprayed two pumps of this last night, which was loads, by the way. Um, and it did everything it needed to do. And I feel like it's literally still up here. So it will definitely give me about six uses which is amazing. This isn't the type of product that you're going to use to dye your entire head of hair. Like that's not going to happen. You're going to use this if you've got roots. If your roots are, are a different color to the rest of your hair and they're sl starting to come through, whether it's gray or whatever shade, um, buy, the matching, um, buy the matching mousse um, to match your dyed hair or the color you want it to match um, and and yeah, you're gonna get it. So I absolutely love this. I also love the fact that it doesn't smell. There's no harsh chemical. Well, it does smell, but it's pleasant. So there's no harsh chemical scent. Um, I don't know if you can see me, the lighting keeps changing. So there's no um, harsh chemical smell with this. It actually smells gorgeous. I kept sniffing it like, how is this? How is this? Oh, I haven't smelled it since yesterday. How is this a hair dye product? Usually they stink and they don't smell good, especially if they contain ammonia. Um, this smells so nice. This literally smells like, you know, like a hairspray type of smell. Um, it just smells really pleasant or even like a deodorant perfumey kind of smell. It smells really, really nice. Um, so it is scented. You might not like scented products, so that's something to think about. Um, you can see the color of it there. I don't need to squirt any out. That's the color it looks. The only issue I had with this and I think it's my fault because I think I could have gone with a darker shade. I just bought the brown one, um, but I'm sure there's a, a black one. I just quickly picked up what I saw. Um, so I think I'd need to go darker. My hair isn't actually jet black. It probably looks it on camera. It's actually more of a, a really, really, really dark brown. Um, I feel like this is for a lighter brown shade. Um, so for me, you probably won't be able to see it on camera, but the gray hair went more of like an orangey red color. You can kind of see it actually. You can kind of see that that shade has like an orange undertone to it. It's kind of like an orangey red, orangey ready brown shade, like a rust kind of color. So my gray patch kind of went like a pinky orangey color. So I was like, whoa, what's happened there? But once I've styled my hair, um, you can't really see it as much anymore. But I do think that maybe if I went over it again, left it on a little bit longer, maybe it'll go a bit darker, but I'm not sure. Um, and also I could just buy a darker shade, obviously, um, and that's gonna work out so much better. But I really rate this. I literally don't have anything bad to say about it. It's amazing value for money. It's literally a couple of pounds. It's not much at all. You're going to get up to six uses. Even if you say to me, well, I've got really long hair, I've got really thick hair, you're not putting this all over your hair. You need to remember that. This is for your roots. This is to touch up areas um, where the color is, you know, where your roots are showing, basically. So 
This will last you ages. It's so inexpensive. It smells nice. It doesn't burn your scalp. You can use it on your hands um, without having to wear gloves. Just rinse your hands off, off afterwards. You only need to have it in your hair for three minutes and then you can wash it out. I just literally think it's just win, 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 win. I can't see anything negative with this product at all. I really, really love it. Um, as I continue to use it and as I experiment with a darker shade and all of that, what I will do is come back to this video and update it in the description. So I will kind of add to it. So if you're watching this in the future, in a month's time or a few weeks time or whatever, um, if you read the description, I would have updated. So I will tell you, oh, I tried this and it worked better or I tried a different shade and that was even better. I will update you. I don't feel like I need to come on and do another video. Um, I will just update it in the description. So yeah, so that's my review. Absolutely love it. Um, the shade I got as well, just to let you know, was for Cool Browns. So um, yeah, obviously, you know, whatever shade you are, there's gonna there's gonna be a shade for you. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. I'm really, really chuffed with this actually. I'm really happy that I found it. Um, it's really nice to have something. The thing about the Root Touch Up products where they kind of wash in and wash out, which this also says it lasts up to 28 washes, I think I read somewhere, um, which is amazing. Yes, lasts up to 28 washes. This is permanent, lasts up to 28 washes. That's amazing. Um, the Root Touch Up products like the sprays and the powders and the other liquid things that you could put in your hair, um, they wash out. So if you wash your hair every day or you wash hair every other day, you're going to constantly be touching up your roots. Whereas with this, you do it once and it's going to stay in. Um, so I just I just think it's amazing. I'm, I can't believe I haven't seen it before. Like I said, I don't know when it came out. Um, but I'm really, really, really happy with it. And it's a bargain, really good value for money. So anyway, hope you found uh, this review helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe as well. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.